what is up guys it is Carly here bringing you yet another weekly dose of horror and today we're going to be talking about another Carrie movie and that is The Rage Carrie 2 from the year 1999 um yes we're moving along with this set now uh The Rage Carrie 2 that's one that I actually it's one of those weird ones that I would watch kind of a lot when I was a kid mainly because I owned it on DVD and also because it seemed like they played this one on TV quite a bit so I forget what channel but um it just seemed like it was always on TV so I would just you know sit back and watch it but since I was a kid I have not re-watched it until now and um, I was curious to um, see what I would think about it on a revisit so Carrie or 2 uh, the rage Carrie 2 it's one of those stupid ones where there's a title before the you know actual movie title and the part 2 kind of like with Hellraiser 2 um, but uh, the Rage, Carrie 2, you're following this girl named Rachel, and um, Rachel is dealing with the same types of mental struggles that Carrie dealt with, where she can move stuff with her mind, but she's not too sure um, why or how or anything like that, and she's pretty much an outcast. Uh, she lives with foster parents because her mom went uh, insane when she was a kid and was kind of diagnosed with schizophrenia and taken away, so this girl's been through uh, the foster care system and um, she's going to high school of course and uh, there's this one girl that she's pretty good friends with and this girl ends up committing suicide early on in the movie and you find that it is due to these football players who uh, play this sort of game or prank if you want to call it where they um, have sex with all these different girls and they get different points based on stupid stuff like if the girl is fat or if the girl is um skanky looking and things like that it's just kind of stuff that they say throughout the movie so they do this on this girl and um of course rachel was affected by it and you actually have the character of sue snell played by amy irving uh once again reprising the role and she plays the school guidance counselor she senses that something is up with rachel and she thinks it might possibly be the same type of thing that was up with Carrie so she wants to try to put a stop to it and then meanwhile you have Rachel kind of getting involved with one of the boys on the football team and um you know stuff one thing leads to another and the movie kind of ends with sort of this revenge thing on Rachel because she turns in the football players who were doing uh, all this sex stuff with these girls and uh, caused her friend to kill herself so um this all eventually leads up to the ending, which of course leads to utter chaos, which, uh, you know, you can kind of put together what happens there. So, uh, that was kind of a long-winded way of saying this. It's pretty much the same as Carrie. Uh, you're dealing with an outcast girl. The only difference is really that, uh, it's kind of a big difference. Rachel isn't necessarily a total, uh, misfit loser or anything like that. She has her group of dorky friends, like there's this kid Arnie and his, um, crew and then of course you have Lisa which is the friend who ends up committing suicide at the beginning so this girl doesn't have a lot of friends but she does have um some friends and she does have more of a personality like she seems more confident than what you get with Carrie she's just uh you know basically different from everyone and that's kind of why she is a little bit uh thrown under the bus or um on the wayside whatever you want to say so um you know, I feel like that almost makes the character a little less sympathetic than Carrie because she does have more of a personality where with Carrie you just desperately wanted that girl to get her chance to shine and then it makes the ending all the more devastating. With this one, uh, it feels like kind of almost like how I am in a way. When I was in high school, I wasn't like a popular kid or anything like that, but I wasn't um, a total loser. I was kind of in the middle and that's kind of the vibe you get with this girl, but they're trying to make her seem like more of the loser character, but you just don't really buy it. But um, you know, I I actually think this is a pretty decent movie. Um, as a sequel, I mean, calling it The Rage Carrie 2 is kind of just stupid because obviously you're not following a character named Carrie. It's just one of those stupidly titled movies for the sake of uh, running off the Carrie name, franchise, whatever you want to say. But, and of course there are the tie-ins with Sue Snell. I always thought it was kind of cool that they did get Amy Irving back in that part, but she um kind of ends up getting a fate that reminds me of the fate of uh dick in the shining uh the cook of course in the shining um if you can kind of understand what i mean there uh she kind of goes through all this stuff and then uh kind of winds up leading to nothing by the ends but 
you know, it's still cool to have her back. I do appreciate when you can get original cast members back, especially with a movie that was made, you know, over 20 years uh, after the um, original came out. Um, you know, the football players in this movie, they're a little bit over the top with their douchiness, I feel like. But at the same time, there were some people, I always kind of relate this back to my high school experience because that's kind of how I base stuff on how realistic it is. And I feel like there were, uh, sadly, people like that in my high school who were heartless in a way and didn't really care about what their actions led to. But it, it was very few and far between where in this, it's just like the entire football team is pretty much... Um, Satan and has no soul and um it just seems a little bit over the top and then of course you have the other popular kids in this one too that um are being just as bitchy as they can possibly be but you know I think it kind of just makes the movie a little more fun and entertaining as opposed to the original car uh, Carrie where I say um you know in my previous review I find that one to be a downer of a film it's one of my favorites but you have to be kind of in the mood to watch uh, the original Carrie because it is more of a tragic story than a high school um, teen, uh, you know, fun movie. Uh, you know, this movie is definitely serious, uh, serious in its own way, but it still has that kind of 90s vibe where it was just like a group of teens all hanging out and partying, stuff like that. It doesn't, it's just not the same feeling where you just feel really dreadful and sad. Um, you can kind of have more fun with this one. I really like the character of Rachel too. I think she's just a very likable character. She just has that face that makes her seem like a really sweet type of girl. And you do, you know, you do feel sorry for her in parts, especially towards the ending. Um, you know, of course she's getting involved with this one guy on the football team and you just want it all to kind of play out for her well, but you know that it's going to lead to um, something bad by the end. And of course the ending, it's, you know, there's no need to even kind of sugarcoat that. The ending is pretty much the same thing you get with the original Carrie, except for this one takes place in an after party after a football game. And um, I think that is honestly pretty well done. It's more um, over the top where uh, she, Rachel's kind of going around. She kind of knows what she's doing and she knows like uh, what the people she's killing. She's kind of targeting them a little bit more and she's actually walking around and getting closer to certain people and it does make it more creepy and menacing. Um, so I do like that about it. Um, the very last clip you get in this movie is also pretty creepy. Um, you know, I won't spoil that, but it kind of tries to play on a little bit more of the original movie. And there are some scenes in this movie that do um, take a little bit from the original movie, I feel like, and kind of give a nod to it. And I think that is pretty cool. Like certain scenes where she's seeing uh, Sue Snell's character who kind of feels like the what you would get with a gym teacher in the original film. Um, that's kind of the character that Sue's playing here where she's just trying to do a good deed and help this girl out and help her not get hurt by this uh, group of evil high school students. So um, I do like that about it. There is some ridiculous stuff in this movie. Like there's a part where uh, Sue pretty much breaks um, Rachel's mom out of the psych ward that she's in. And when watching, like, you know, back then I didn't really care but watching that now it's pretty much ridiculous because if everything played out all right sue would probably get in pretty big trouble for breaking this woman out of the um hospital and it just seems very almost a little bit over the top the, the lengths that sue's going through to um you know show rachel that uh, she's in trouble but whatever once again it makes for a fun movie and there's also scenes where she takes rachel to the school the original school from Carrie, of course, that's what it's supposed to be, and um, it's obviously burnt down, and they haven't torn it down yet, and um, sorry guys, I'm like choking on my own air here, but um, Sue's like, oh, the, you know, she makes a comment, like, I don't get why they don't, they don't just tear, tear this down, and it is kind of unrealistic that they didn't tear it down after all those years, because places around here that are um, burnt down pretty much usually get torn down right away if they're in that bad of shape, but you know, those are just kind of silly things. Overall, I do think this movie is a fun movie. Uh, to not take it too seriously, don't take it like it's a, you know, a direct sequel to Carrie and it should be anything perfection like the original Carrie is. I definitely like that movie better, but I think this one is just kind of a fun one to pop on and watch for a good time, uh, more so than the original is, where that one's, uh, wow, it is one that I rewatch quite a bit. It is one that I think is a downer of, of a film and, um, you know, you want to revisit it when you're kind of in a good mood. But, uh, 
I give the Rage Carry 2 a 7.5 out of 10. Sorry guys, I feel like this is another one of those reviews where I kind of rambled on, but turns out I have a lot to say about Carry 2 here. So, um, thank you guys once again for joining me for this weekly dose of horror, and as always, I will see you, maybe, possibly, next week.